Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Before we get started, please hit that subscribe button so we can hit 20K because how amazing would that be? Hit that notification bell so you do not miss an upload. Follow me on Instagram at Maddie's underscore mood underscore swings. It'll be in my description box below. Before we get into today's story time, I want to give you guys an update on my nephew for those of you that have been asking he is doing great guys um he ended up going back to court he had to go back to court and they gave him six months of work release he's been there for about two months and some change but i actually feel like that ended up working out better for him because he's been on it at work he's been um reading and writing on his free time and every single time I talk to him on the phone, he sounds good mentally, emotionally. And but I'm also being mindful uh, to continue to tell him, create a plan, create a plan, create a plan. And that he has the power and the control of the outcome of his life. So he's doing well, guys. Thank you all so much for your concerns. And um, he does watch all of my videos so if you guys have an encouraging word or some advice for him please feel free to live in leave it in the comments section because i'm sure he will read them um all right guys let's jump into today's story time i want to talk about um like step parents um i remember when i was about 15 or 16 years old my dad introduced me to a woman he was seeing now my parents divorced when I was about eight years old and I hadn't met anybody that my dad had um, dated or I don't even know or wasn't aware if he was dating or wasn't because I literally there was like no signs of that um, and so when he told me that he wanted to introduce me to a woman he's been seeing I was beyond excited because I didn't want my dad to end up alone and also because I was like, honey, I was super duper thirsty for a mom. Like, I was so thirsty and desperate for a female figure um, that I was excited. Like, I was just like, yes, I'm going to get to experience what it's like to have a mom. I'm going to get to experience what it's like to have a woman figure in my life and um and i remember he introduced me to her at a quinceanera which is like a sweet 16 and i remember when i first saw her she was wearing like this beautiful red dress she had um curly blonde hair and like little red cheeks and and i remember like just giving her the biggest hug and like smiling from ear to ear because i was like man yes i get to experience like a mom you know and um fast forward they got serious and she moved in and i was like yes like we um, my younger sister and i were so excited again because we were super duper desperate and thirsty for a mother figure but unfortunately uh, it didn't feel so loving and positive um she came in with a very negative attitude from the very beginning and, and came in very demanding, like, you need to do this, you need to do that, you need to fix this, you need to fix that. And we were just staring at her like, we don't even really know you. Like, you have any, like do you want to know my favorite color? Like, do you want to know if I have any hobbies, any interests? Like, would you like to be my friend first? And there was no effort in that whatsoever um i remember uh, my sister and i were clean all the time but it wasn't good enough she would tell my dad that we didn't do anything all day and that we wouldn't help her with anything at all and we would get so frustrated because we would tell my dad like we're trying we're doing this and we're doing that but nothing seems to be enough and then i remember um feeling like I didn't have a place in my home other than my room. My younger sister and I would share a room and she made sure 
that we knew that that was our only space because if we left even our shoes outside of our bedroom door or my purse in the kitchen table or a book somewhere out in the living room, she would gather all of our belongings and throw it in our room and shut the door. Even when we would wanna air out our room and open the windows and open the door, she immediately would go and shut our door and would always say, don't leave your stuff out here. I don't wanna see any of your things out here. And then um, she would leave like pop and, and chips in her room like my sister and i would look at each other like she doesn't even want to share that with us we it was the most ridiculous thing guys like we had and i developed i started to develop so much hate towards this woman like we would argue on the daily basis or i would rarely be home because i didn't want to be home um and um we would argue all the time. I got to a point where I just said, F it. I'm just going to treat this woman how she's treating me. I'm going to give her the same energy. And I was like, uh, like just an ass, you know, if she would ask me to do something, I would do the complete opposite. Like we were constantly bumping heads and, um, and eventually, um, we ended up talking and things ended up getting a little bit better and um, we still have a lot of things we need to go uh, like work through and communicate and um, and hopefully get to a place of healing but I say all of that to say that if you're dating someone if you're going to go into dating someone that has children and you are of the mindset of developing something of substance with your partner understand that just as that relationship is important to you the relationship with their children should be just as important it should it should make you want to build a friendship with their children figure out their likes their dislikes what their hobbies are if they have any dreams because understand that once you become a part of their life you're going to be a part of their day-to-day -day lives and you are going to be one of the people that are going to have the most influence on them and if you go into a situation saying well those are not my kids i don't care fuck them kids then you're causing children trauma you're you can cause insecurities because they feel like they're not enough you can cause them to have anxiety because you know when she was telling me to make sure you have this clean or make sure you do that right i would feel anxiousness um so save everyone the tr the trauma and date someone that doesn't have children if you don't feel capable of developing a positive relationship with your partner's children, it's unfair to bring that kind of selfishness into an environment um, and just and just create chaos. And for and for parents, be mindful. Be mindful of the people that you bring into your children's lives vet and vet and vet the women and the men that you date because if they end up coming into your life and cause trauma a huge part of that is on you too take accountability for the people that you date and make sure that you're bringing in nothing but positive people and people that are going to influence your children for the better all right, guys, I really hope you guys like today's video and, and really take in that message, man, because I I can't express enough how how much we really need to start looking within ourselves and, and, and start asking ourselves as, as adults, are we doing the right thing for our kids, man? Are we doing the right thing for the people around us? Um, are we affecting their lives in a better way? Um, so, all right, guys, I hope you guys liked today's video. 
and leave um, any comment about about this subject. Did you experience this with a step parent? Did you experience this with with your parents, like significant others, um, or if you experienced a positive um, situation? I would love to hear what that looks like. Uh, all right, guys, I love you so so much thank you again for continuing to support me and watch me you guys are absolutely amazing and i can't tell you how much doing this man means the world to me all right guys i love you have an amazing week till next time bye